Christmas delayed for a West Valley family. Last year, Michael Vandermeer was charged with a double murder and attempted murder. His victims, all family members. Well, today he was back in court, but the case was postponed again. News 4 Utah's Marcus Ortiz explains why. His attorney claims that Michael Vandermeer may be mentally unstable. Six months ago, the court ordered that he be mentally evaluated. He was back in court today. His mental status is still a mystery, leaving the victims frustrated. It's driving me crazy, stressing me out. I just want to see what I want something to be done, you know, with the person that murdered my wife and my son, you know. Prosecutors say that person is Michael Vandermeer, who was 23 years old when he allegedly gunned down his father and grandmother. It happened at their West Valley home nearly 18 months ago. Inside the home was Vandermeer's grandfather, Paul Manning. He says he woke up after feeling a knife in his back. I got up because I was like, what the heck? And I got up and I, I held him. And he stabbed me a few more times and I, I pushed him back, pushed him back. And finally got the, the knife away from him and I, I was bleeding so bad I fell. He had his wife Elaine call 911. But he says Vandermeer got a shotgun and killed her. Manning says that's when his own father, Gregory Vandermeer, tried wrestling the shotgun from him, only to be shot too. He yelled out that he had killed his mother. You know, you shot my mother, you know, screamed like that. And then apparently uh, after that, I heard another shot and he was gone. Today, the family left the courtroom unhappy that there's no progress in the case. A competency report on Vandermeer was expected, but it's still not complete, delaying the case again. He gets to hide behind the justice system, and they didn't get to hide behind anything. You know, I mean, they had a shotgun to their head, and he just gets to hide behind judges, and he gets to fake and pretend he's insane. Vandermeer will be back in court next month. The frustrated family hopes when they return, there'll be no more excuses. At the Matheson Courthouse, Marcus Ortiz, News for Utah. A legal expert says judges want to make certain a defendant is competent to stand trial. Moving forward with someone who's not of sound mind can cause the case to be overturned by an appeals court, which would mean even more delays.